guys. Welcome back to our channel. So last video is the continuation. Like this video is the continuation of the last video. So last video we talked about our mental health, our status, whatever is going on. But we missed to talk, or we didn't actually talk about the job market because that's a separate video which we'll talk right now. So today's video will be starting with our job guru. I'll just share my experience. Not <laughs> job guru. I'm not no job guru actually, but I can share my experience with you. For me, is the job guru because I'm inspired by uh, his dedication. Oh my god. I cannot tell you because every the other time he's always studying, studying, studying. So I have what? to actually any any IT guy will relate to me because in IT there's no saying like I know it all. You have to uh, always keep yourself updated and uh, you have to uh, keep on learning, keep on reading so that you you stay updated and you don't become obsolete. Okay, so the video starts now. Yeah, so coming to job now. I think Shreya covered most of the topics uh, regarding the other aspects of life. Uh, regarding the main, one of the main important thing is getting a job in Canada. So uh, I was fortunate enough that I I got a job when I was in Dubai. Uh, but but people think that okay now now he has a job he has nothing to worry about. It's not true. Because first of all getting a job itself is very difficult. Even though I'm in IT sector and jobs are there, but in IT IT is fast. Any any person who works in IT he will relate to me because in IT there are so many technologies, so many different technologies, and nowadays. You have to upskill yourself every every few days because otherwise you will be obsolete. So you have to stay uh, current to the market, whatever the job. Uh, nowadays the companies demand if it is cloud or if it is DevOps or if it is something development, full stack development. There are so many technologies, mainframe. Uh, some people are working in the legacy application. Some people are application working in Oracle, uh, you know, Fusion middleware or some, uh, you know, uh, very uh, big. Uh, Salesforce or any any kind of MPRP, CRM, I, I, it's it's a big list. So uh, it's not like you have IT. IT means you will get a job. You have to be relevant to the job market, and you have to prepare yourself for that. You have to do certifications. You have to do a lot of certifications to uh, lure the uh, recruiters to see your profile. I think LinkedIn and uh, um, Indeed, they they were very helpful for getting a job. But yeah, I mean, as I told earlier, so fortunately I got a job before landing in uh, Canada. And for Shreya, she worked really, she she worked really hard because she is in different field. She is in marketing field. And for getting the job, because many people discouraged her, saying that oh, you want a manager job, you won't get. You have to compromise on that. But she she always believed in herself, and she she showed that yeah, if you if you are willing to do it, you can do it. And she applied a lot. She applied in all the forums which I told. So, so Shreya was getting uh, many calls. Some of the calls were irrelevant because it was not matching to what her skill sets are. But uh, some are genuine calls, and she was giving interviews, and she was giving four or five rounds. And after that, the, she was facing rejection, saying that uh, you don't have Canadian experience. So my question is, if you don't have Canadian experience, then why are you shortlisting her as a candidate, and why are you wasting uh, each other's time? But anyway, I, I, I told Shreya to be positive and. Uh, take it as a strong point as, as, as experience because whatever she understood from the calls helped her getting the final job, which was the best job actually. Because whatever whatever the interview she has given, whatever the best uh, company we we wanted to get, she got into the one of them. And uh, it's not easy. It's not easy because every job requires uh, different job profiles. You have to uh, curtail your CV. You have to skill sets. You have to, <laughs> yeah, you have to. Uh, Make the CV uh, look uh, appropriate for the job description which the company is looking for. You have to stay updated. You have to prepare yourself well because company can ask you any any questions, and you have to give an answer which which uh, looks uh, promising and uh, convincing. So anyway, so uh, now luckily uh, by God's grace, we both of us having a job and uh, we are happy with the job role. We didn't compromise on the because uh, when we were in Dubai, people used to say that you have to compromise on your whatever. If you're a senior manager, you have to downgrade to manager, or you have to work as an analyst. It's not like that. If you work hard and if you search for the proper places, if you have the correct networking, you'll definitely get the jobs, the dream jobs which you are looking for. Both of us are happy at the moment because she got managerial job, I got the thing which I was looking for. So uh, stay focused, do your certification, uh, never lose hope, and uh, do networking. I would say because networking helps you to connect to the right people, and they can help you further. So yeah, that's that's it from my side. Yeah. One thing that I want to include is um, we both got our jobs on our own. Yeah. On yeah. Our own. yeah. 
there was no reference involved there was no reference involved we will not say we are proud but we are like it gives you a sense of uh, accomplishment Ac- because so correct yeah so because correct. normally yes. people think okay you uh, someone will refer and get guys uh, my, many of my friends referred me i am very thankful to them because they they helped a lot in referring but eventually you have to cut the interview because your friend will refer you you'll get the interview calls but then you have to clear the interview that that part no one can help you so but, but for me it was unfortunate because all his friends are in it yeah. nobody is into marketing yeah. field so for me I, this was a different struggle uh, i was like left all on my own and i always knew that getting a marketing job is like four to six months because it's it's the same i have gone to many youtubers videos they are also in the marketing field and they also took a lot of time and i was also tend that oh my god how can i sit idle for so many months uh, but the god is with us uh, so yeah. And there is a very thin layer between sales and marketing. Many people get confused. Okay, oh, you are marketing. That means you are in sales. It's not like that because sales is something different. Ball game, and you have to travel a lot. And for Shreya's profile, it was not like that. But uh, yeah, eventually, uh, whatever happens, happens for the best. So good, yeah. And we are, uh, we are really. We can say we are proud of ourselves internally mm-hmm. <laughs> that we are in this level on our own. But we would definitely help. Try to help out how much we have. possible possibly we can help out other people in dubai uae also we have done the same we have helped out referred people as much as we can as much it is under our capabilities so if you guys over here uh, any any help you need just reach us we will try yeah, our best one more thing regarding job market so some of my friends contacted me that can you refer me and they were not having canadian pr yeah. so so that is a misconception that uh, if you get a job you can come here it's not like that It doesn't work that way. So, uh, for uh, applying in Canada, any jobs, first question they will ask you: Are you eligible to work in Canada or not? Without so, a visa sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah. So there are two ways. One is you come through PR and you get a job. That is a legal way. And the second legal way is you have a work permit. That will be a closed work permit. Like companies like TCS or Accenture or any, any company, they will they'll send you in a deputation for your projects projects um, deputation. And that will be a closed work permit, so you cannot switch companies yes, after coming just, here. Yeah, you have to be, you'll be like a kind of locked for one year. After that, you'll be like free. You can then apply for PR and you can get your own jobs. Yeah, that is so, called LMI. So the position is released, and they first try to search in Canada. If they are not getting anyone in Canada, that's when they open it to other countries, which is like a very niche market. It is not so. Frequently the, available. The skills that which are not available in yes, Canada, yes. so they will post internally first. Yeah. If they don't get it, they will post it globally, and then they'll try to pull in resources from all over the world. So that is uh, that is not an easy option. You know, very very few people will get it because there is no such uh, thing which people don't in Canada doesn't know. So it's it's difficult. It's possible, but it's difficult. Yeah. So yeah. So, so that is one of the common misconceptions I I faced. Yeah. So whoever is in Canada, we can help out better. Uh, out of Canada, it's kind of difficult because there are so many applications in backlogs, and people are trying to trying to come ASAP. Yeah. So that's we tried that actually uh, when we were in Dubai. We used to apply for jobs, and uh, recruiters will ask you the first question is, "Are you are you legally uh, eligible to work in Canada?" Yes. So that question means that are you having a work permit? Or did you get your COPR yeah, stage? Like yeah. your you have the stamp on your passport. That's when we started applying jobs. We did not apply job before that because and, we already even, knew that. Yeah, and even if you are in an express entry, like if you have applied for the express entry and you are waiting for to be uh, getting selected, even that time also you are not eligible to work. Yeah. That means your application is in the pool, but you are still not uh, having a Canadian PR. So that stage also will not help. So guys, uh, we'll end this video by uh, the. thought process which comes in our mind is like uh, just do good karma believe in yourself and uh, everything will fall in place and uh, always try to help others each other because the world is an entire uh, small family and uh, do good karma and uh, god will bless you so true and we always try to uplift each other and we are always there beside each other in good or bad times we definitely do fight <laughs> but yeah we try to forgive and forget and live our life now we talk fight there's no love so yeah so guys uh, stay well stay safe work hard work smart and have an amazing life and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys Please, yeah. there are 92% people who watch our videos and still don't subscribe that's that's free just, just click, click subscribe click, click. yeah that's it <laughs> bye, bye.